Now, if we want to display author information, we should also dynamically load this information. For example, if we display an image or some text about the author and we want to later on change that information, it's good if you dynamically load that from one source and don't always add it to every post we do. Also, it's good if we have a source which allows us to dynamically tell which blog post is written by which author. Now, everything dynamic is handled in the CMS feature. So let's go about and add another CMS collection for our authors and then try to link it with the blog posts so that we then can always show which blog post is written by which author and then display information about that author dynamically. In order to do so, all I have to do is create a new collection and let's call that one authors. And for that in collection, I want to display two more information. I want to display a profile picture. And I want to display a short text about the author. Let's say that can be a maximum of 300 characters. Save field, and then let's create that collection. Now, the next thing I want to make sure that for each blog post, we dynamically display which author has written that. And Webflow allows us to interlink different CMS collections. In order to link the blog post and author's collection, all I have to do is I'm going to go back to the th settings of the blog post collection. And I'm going to add another field here. And now I have this reference ability in the field type. I'm going to select reference, give it a label of author, and then collect the author's collection. And again, set that to required. Save field and then save collection. And now these four blog posts currently have no interlinkage with an author. In order to do that, we first need to add our own author. Now let's go about and adding our author. To do that, all I have to do is click new author, add the name of our author. In this case, it's going to be Dan. Upload his profile picture. And then I have pre-written a small text. And let's click create. And now the next thing is we want to interlink the author with our blog posts. So I'm going to choose our first blog post and make sure that I am interlinking that with Dan. And let's repeat that for the other three blog posts. And as you can see, currently we get an error message here for the links for the ones where we haven't interlinked it yet because I early on set that field to be required in order to work properly. So let's do that for the last one and save. And now what we need to do is we need to publish everything once and then we can use it properly, properly to display the author content.